going on, everyone? And welcome back to my name. So before we get in this video, I'm gonna go toss everything in the car because my hands are actually full and you guys are actually standing on the tripod that I picked up, so yeah. So today marks the third day of my, whoever's playing right now, please be quiet. Today marks the third day of my bodybuilding prep and I am in so much pain. As some of you guys saw on the first day I trained legs and leg day literally humbled the living crap out of me because I had been training just terribly for probably like the past year and a half. Like I just have not been training all that well and it's because I let my ego get the best of me and so when the weight would get too heavy, I wouldn't take a step back, you know, to get the rep range right and to get the form right and so I just let that go on for way too long and then when I finally did it right a couple days ago, it, literally, it made a day and night difference in the whole training day itself but it also made a difference in the amount of pain that I'm feeling and my legs are just my leg. oh. it feels like my legs are broken not really I've actually broke my leg that feels a lot worse but it just hurts so bad so I'm interested today to see how chest day feels because that's what we have on the menu today and I'm kind of I'm not scared but I'm like damn like how how bad is this one gonna hurt also choice of pre-workout for today yerba mate if you're not on the yerba mate train you need to get on it I don't know what else to tell you you're slacking if you're not. If you don't know what yerba mate is, it's a type of tea. Y'all need to hook yourself up. I'm not gonna go in depth and explain it, but I'm telling ya. need to listen up for this thing I'm about to tell y'all so I talked about in my previous video how I changed up my leg day basically humbled myself I want to go into a little more detail on that because my chest day today is the best it's been in like I said a year and a half like my training has been on par for like a year and a half and so I want to explain why a little bit and how to improve your next lift so if you've been going to the gym every single day lately just kind of like going through the moments not paying attention to your rep scheme not paying attention to how many reps that you're getting when you're pushing up the weight and how controlled that weight is when it's going up you might not be making the progress that you want to be making or you might be feeling stuck so to counter that what you need to do is you need to tell your ego to chill the f out for a second and that you're going to lower the weight and focus on form by doing that, your muscle will get a much better contraction and overall a much better workout. That's what's been going on today. I've been slowing down the movement, focusing on form, lowering the weight. Like for example, I normally do a 45, 25 and a 45 for this. I change things up and it is just as difficult as it was prior, but I'm getting a much better workout and I can just feel it in the pump. That was something that I was starting to notice every single time I would go into a workout, I just did not have the same kind of pump. Like, yeah, I could toss out the weight, but there just was no progress and no pump. That to me is just an indicator that something's not right. All right for your next workout, the whole chest workout is gonna be up on the screen for y'all. So if you guys wanna try it, go for it. Follow everything that's on there. The thing that I want you guys to swap out is the incline bench press. And I want you guys to swap it out like a machine press that you guys just saw me doing, just because I don't want your shoulders to get up. So head out next time for your chest day and really just focus on doing the proper form and throwing up the weight the right way. looking like about still 12 weeks out looking good the lighting is definitely to blame for the leanness that might appear on this, you know screen to where I hold body fat I hold a lot of body fat my lower back and also like honestly up through here surprisingly you'll notice like as I get leaner this will really start to show through and you'll realize how much fat I actually carry up in here which is kind of weird but we're all different I also carry a good amount of fat in my legs as well and my fingers bleeding
right, so in today's video, I want to break down to you guys what supplements I'm currently taking to accommodate for my current style of training. And for like the past couple months or so, I've been just toying around with different supplements to see which ones will help me with my style of training or just help me get closer to my goals with training. And I feel like I finally have a supplement stack that I've been sticking with pretty consistently. And so I wanted to share it with you guys. You guys know I focus on like a hybrid style of training. So these supplements are gonna be really focused around, you know, that style of training. But without further ado, the first supplement that we're going to be starting out with which i think will always be part of any supplement stack that i have and is going to be protein powder i'm not going to say too much about this but for those who don't know you don't need protein powder but the thing that protein powder helps with is it supplements the protein that you don't already get from whole foods in other words you don't have to take protein powder but the thing protein powder like i said helps with is it supplements to get the protein that you don't already get and as some of you guys might know it is super hard to get all of the protein that you need from whole foods simply because the time that it takes to cook all of those meals and the time that it takes out of your day to you know get that meal prepped and everything, it can just take a lot of time. And so by just throwing in a scoop of protein or a couple scoops of protein a day, it can really save you a lot of time with trying to get all of your protein in in one day. So that's exactly what I use protein for. And I think it should be a part of everyone's current supplement stack, regardless of what style of training you're doing. Now this next supplement is probably something you guys are probably tired of hearing me talk about just because I've brought it up in so many videos, but it is hydrate, which is an electrolyte formula. The reason I started talking about this supplement so much and became so adamant about taking it is because once I started, you know, implementing a hybrid style of training during my day, I started to realize how dehydrated I was because I started experiencing symptoms of de 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 <laughs> dehydration, like, you know, headaches, puffy skin and like the whole nine yards for, you know, dehydration. And so essentially, you know, if you're in a condition where you're training in like hot weather that's causing you to sweat or you just sweat a lot in general, you're losing a lot of the electrolytes that keep your body hydrated. And you need a way to replenish those electrolytes just so that you don't get those symptoms of dehydration because dehydration is not good for your body. And so this supplement really just helps to replenish those electrolytes that my body needs. It tells me not only during my training, but to just feel good in general throughout the rest of my day. Next supplement is a supplement that we are all familiar with it is like the grand supplement of all supplements if not my it actually is my favorite supplement and that is going to be creatine now for those who don't know creatine essentially helps to create more atp within the body if you guys don't know what atp is it is a energy that your body naturally produces and with the help of creatine your body can produce more and this helps a lot with you know training in the gym because when your body training in the gym it uses atp but if it has more atp to use you can obviously put more input into your workout which results in more output or in other words just better results i think the explanation is pretty simple but if you want to even dumb it down more the more you put in the more you get out so that's essentially what creatine helps with and i think it's an amazing supplement if you're training i definitely think you need to be taking this daily. This next supplement isn't necessarily my favorite, but it definitely helps out a lot with blood flow in the gym and simply just getting a pump. And it is going to be pump formula. So you don't necessarily need pump formula. You can also do like pre-workout. But for me, I just typically try to stay away from high caffeinated things just because I'm super hypersensitive to caffeine. I still have caffeine during the day. It's just for me, pre-workout takes, you know, way too much or it has too much caffeine in it for me like typical scoops of pre-workout have 200 plus milligrams of caffeine and that just gets me way too jittery and I personally don't like it. That's why this product right here, this pump is great for me is simply because it doesn't have caffeine in it and it has Himalayan rock salt in it and L-citrulline which are great for providing a pump and good blood flow within your workout. I have been taking this supplement for a very long time on this channel. Some of you guys know if you guys have been here for a long time, but I just haven't shared it a whole bunch just because it tends to go really quick when I do start taking it and then like it goes before I make my next order. So then like I'm really inconsistent with taking it, but I'm trying to get more consistent with taking it and it is going to be joint support. Now, for those who don't know, joint support is essentially turmeric and turmeric is super good for the wellness of your joints. And that's super good for hybrid training because for hybrid training, not only are you weightlifting, but you are, you know, most likely participating in some sort of impact sport. So like running, for example, is super, super hard 
on your knees, your joints and all that stuff. And so by taking this, it just helps to lower the inflammation in those areas and just working out alone. Like I think if you're just working out alone, you're not necessarily hybrid training. I definitely think that you should be taking this joint support because simply your joints do take a beating in any sort of workout that you do. A supplement that's always been a part of every single supplement stack that I've been on similar to protein is going to be krill oil or in other words, fish oil. Now, the reason that I believe that you should be taking this is simply because it helps with your heart health. And as a hybrid athlete or as someone who works out in general or cares about the well-being of themselves, your heart health is like everything. Like the well-being of your heart is huge. It's simply, you know, most important muscle in the body. And so I think, you know, just by taking this supplement, you're doing yourself a huge favor with that. And also krill oil, fish oil, whatever you want to call it helps to keep inflammation down in the body as well. So I definitely think that krill oil should be a part of everyone's nutrition guide, regardless if like you work out or not, like I, I think everyone should work out, but it is just super good for you. I think everyone should take it. So all of these supplements right here, excluding these ones, which we're gonna get to, are the current supplements that I'm gonna be taking. Those will be listed up on the screen as well. However, I do have an honorable mention for this video and it is going to be a nootropic or in other words, a stim booster. Now, the reason that I wanted to include this is because I feel like a lot of people don't know about these supplements and how beneficial they truly are. I decided to take it just because of my current wants and needs and it has been super helpful for me. So the thing about nootropics is they have this ingredient in them called alpha GPC. Now alpha GPC has been noted by many articles and a neuroscientist out there called Andrew Huberman. Alpha GPC, which is essentially a choline donor, acts in the pathways related to the neuromodulator acetylcholine and can enhance focus. And who I'm sure you guys are all familiar with. If you guys aren't familiar with Andrew Huberman, you must be listen listening. <laughs> you, you must be living under a rock, which would then mean that you're not even listening to him because like, I don't know how you would hear under a rock. But regardless, it has been noted many times to improve your cognitive function, but more specifically, your focus. And that's exactly why I started taking it. I wanted to improve my focus and make sure that, you know, I was just focused in on whatever work that I was doing. So that's why it was important to me. And just to give more credibility to Alpha GPC and how helpful these supplements are. So in the United States, you can literally go pick up a supplement like this at, you know, Super Supplements, wherever you wanna to go to get your supplements, GNC, and you can get this with Alpha GPC in it, right? As we're in other countries outside of the US, I can't remember specifically which ones, but Alpha GPC is actually in prescription form in other countries in the world. So I think that just adds a whole bunch of credibility to how good Alpha GPC is, just because the fact that you have to go get prescribed Alpha GPC elsewhere just shows that it obviously works for improving your cognitive function. If you guys are interested in any of these supplements at all, the will be a link down in the description for every single one of these supplements and code Levi will save you 10% off your entire purchase at Transparent Labs. Also another thing, I wanna show you guys a shirt on Transparent Labs website just in case some of you guys do decide to go over there. This shirt was a collaboration with ASRV which is like a super high, qual super high quality clothing brand that's like really emphasizing like this weird, like minimalistic kind of style. It's not better than Kill Bill, but it is a pretty cool shirt. I love this shirt. I've honestly thought about picking up like a second one just because of how awesome it is. It's a pretty just dope compression shirt. If you guys are interested in picking that up while you're there, it'll be there. I'll put a link down in the description for the shirt as well. So I don't know how many guys have been keeping up with, well, yeah, okay, the first episode will be out by the time that this video releases, but I don't know how many guys have been keeping up with the bodybuilding prep right now. I'm literally just in the middle of meal prepping. We got the rice, we got the potatoes. That made it really foggy. And most importantly, we have the pug. All right, well, I actually have some like beef out in the backyard just cooking up on the grill, but I wasn't gonna go out there just to show you guys. All so far, the bodybuilding preps have been going pretty good. Just really focused on trying to get my posing down this time. The diet necessarily isn't the biggest issue because I've just been doing dieting and all of that and lifting for so long now that I have that dialed in, but it's more so just the posing this time. So for practicing on that, just want to keep you guys updated with that just in case you guys have been following that journey. If you guys haven't, I'm trying to suggest you guys go watch it. It's just fun. It's like my own way of, how do I say this? Like bringing a different type of creative style to the channel and whatnot and also bringing you guys through a journey. That's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a like. If any of you guys are new here, do not forget to press that subscribe button because you guys know I will be back. And as always, die trying to do what you love because the sky is the limit and I'll see you all in the next one.